guys hanging bersama dengan I, Pak Nisa Azmi Assalamualaikum dan good morning lah kepada Financial Far East punya audience. Hari ni ada satu guest yang amat special ya. Yeah? Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys kalau pergi shopping, mesti akan consider untuk pergi ke kedai beliau. Kalau jauh sikit pun dulu my mom akan sanggup pergi ke USG tu. Walaupun kita tinggal kat Subang Jaya, sanggup pergi ke sana walaupun ada Kafu eh. Uh, Dato' Amir punya competition pada waktu itu. Sekarang Kafu dah tak ada eh. Dah tak ada. Dah tak ada. So... Uh, ada-ada ada, tapi tukar nama. Tukar lah. nama, yes. Tukar baju je. Tukar baju. My guest pada hari ini tak lain dah tak bukan adalah Dato' Amir Ali Maidin. Uh, the MD of uh, Maidin. Uh, thank you very much for coming, Dato'. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor. Uh, thank you. It, it is an honor for me. Uh, so, Dato', uh, hari ini, uh, at the time of our recording, hari Jumaat, one day, one or two days before Chinese New Year, hmm. Dato' tak bercuti? <laughs> Kita orang oh, berniaga. Hmm. Kita tak pernah cuti. Tak pernah cuti ya? Eh? Uh, 24-7. Mm-hmm. Because bila orang cuti, dia akan pergi shopping. Betul. And that is the peak time for business. Ah. Uh, jadi orang nak kerja kat Maidin ni susah. Dia kata bila orang cuti, kita tak boleh cuti. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. So, so maksudnya, now is your peak. So sekarang ni lah waktu... Every perayaan. weekend. Ah, weekend. Weekend. Uh, peak. Perayaan, of course. Peak. Lagi, lagi better. Kalau sekarang ni ada some challenges because back to school biasanya kan dulu November, December right, right. back to school so that's the peak lepas tu rehat sekejap uh-huh. lepas tu nak raya ni up again bulan uh-huh. puasa kan bulan puasa tapi yeah. sekarang ni yalah pasal sekolah sekarang ni the actual yang naik tingkat tu orang kata bulan tiga bulan tiga betul bulan tiga so parents tend to shop bulan tiga uh-huh. bulan tiga pula bulan puasa betul so this is the challenge lah where now as you're talking about money and financing hmm they must know how to budget. Mm-hmm. Daripada sekarang tu kena simpan duit atau gaji bulan ni beli baju sekolah dulu. Mm-hmm. Lepas tu gaji bulan depan because I think Malaysian unfortunately uh, at that so-called B40 we call B40 the M40 uh, are becoming B40 mm-hmm. they all live paycheck to paycheck. Right. So the, the next nak raya ni so they need enough money for raya of course bila kita tengok uh, government giving Uh, so call uh, dia nak hantar 2,000 mm-hmm. some kind of uh, payment to civil servant that's right uh, the, the timing is right tapi I uh, had a discussion just uh, last week actually uh, I sit uh, on pemuda mm-hmm. uh, co-chair pemuda ni so we sit on the so call cost of living cost of living punya council lah mm-hmm. also where we suggest uh, and the uh, Actual chair is of course the PM, but the many times the the the, the, the second level is chaired by our uh, DPM, by Bisa Hit lah, Datuk Sri Bisa Hit. Baru ni pun sama. Saya kata boleh saya jadangkan tak Datuk Sri? Hmm. Kalau mahu nak bagi insentif ni, bagu terima okay. kasih lah. The so call uh, macam baru ni bagi Maisara, Maisara yes. bagi satu ringgit, dua ringgit. Cadangan saya ni. Janganlah bagi hujung bulan. Ha, bagi bagilah pertengahan bulan. Pertengahan, eh? ha, because kalau dah hujung bulan dapat gaji. Mm-hmm. Pertengahan bulan semua dah kering. Dan untuk kita pun, bila dah hujung bulan ni, customer flow is very high. Mm. Uh, to for us to cater. And anyway, business kita tak nak down. Kita nak kan kalau boleh consistent business. Betul. Of course, we can hire then a bit lower, okay lah. So kalau dia bagi the announcement pun, dia akan bagi pada... 23 Februari saya, saya tak silap kata alamak hujung bulan juga. Hmm. So dia bertindih dengan gaji. Gaji masuk. Ha, gaji masuk. So you see masih very important you know. Because sometimes when you have too much money, so? they tend to spend at the wrong thing. Hmm. Kalau kita ada seribu, kita tahu kita nak beli makanan. Lepas tu kena beli baju sekolah ke apa-apa. Kalau ada dua ribu pula dia kata uh, beli telefon baru kot. Hmm. Ha, atau tambah ni tambah tu. So sometimes not necessity requirement becomes of course necessity tapi tapi that's a very interesting point lah Datuk sebab uh, I pernah dengar uh, hypermarket such as the one yang Datuk uh, jaga ni uh, SNMD eh, uh, ada strategi untuk letak barang-barang ni supaya bila orang masuk dia nampak uh, maybe uh, barang ni dulu dia tak akan letak 
hardware kat depan contohnya makanan semua kat belakang uh, raw materials apa raw apa makanan fresh fresh fresh, fresh, fresh food dekat belakang. belakang is there a strategy untuk make people spend yeah because uh, it's not make people spend uh, it's because kita tengok impulse buying hmm. impulse buying so kalau you masuk sekarang hari ni kalau you masuk hmm. kat my date uh, kita dah set up untuk raya nampak hamper ah ha? so <laughs> <laughs> hamper tak tapi kita masuk aje kat, kat kanan tu akan ada tu tudung Tudung, okay. Because tudung ni, untuk perempuan ni, berapa tudung dia ada pun tak cukup. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, ada warna belacan lah. Nak mm. warna ni tu, <laughs> dia beli je. Dia beli tudung atau pin baju. Mm. Uh, high margin. Uh, tapi orang kata macam impulse buying. Eh, cantik lah tu. Kan? Masuk aja sekarang dah kita letak baju kurung contohnya. Of course lah, fresh is at the end. Mm. And then kalau kita kata makanan biasa-biasa tu kat ujung sekali lah. Betul. As you say, because uh, for two reasons. Yang ni senang angkat, senang angkat, fresh kena last, uh, not for any reason, because memang orang kita nak dia jalan kat ujung, tapi kita tak nak dia beli ikan awal pula, mm-hmm. ayam, because it's a cold chain. Right. Dia dah beli tu, dia kena masuk Just kereta lah cepat, lah. cepat yes. ha, pasal nak balik rumah, uh, uh, beli susu kan. Ice cream. Uh, ice cream. Pokok belakang lah. Uh, last. It's last that. sekali lah. So, um, so kita orang semua kenal my din lah, sama ada kenal tapi tak pergi ataupun kenal dan memang pergi. So, apa Atau kenal tapi tak cinta. <laughs> dia dia to be honest eh Datuk, I I jenis yang suka hypermarket. Uh, kalau I pergi overseas ke, I bukan nak pergi shopping beli baju ke, beli beg tangan ke. I mean why 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 nak beli benda tu kan? Tapi I suka tengok shopping market dia sebab that is where the normal people pergi. So macam kalau kat US kita suka tengok pergi Walmart. Uh, so tengok Walmart tu wah wow, besar lah dia ni macam Biden sepuluh kali ganda. Um, tapi people yang tengok Maiden ni, dia maybe tak kenal uh, macam mana Maiden start daripada awal. Sebab tadi pun I tersalah sebut. I terpanggil Datuk sebagai founder but turns out it is your dad lah. And you sambungkan. So what is the story of Maiden since dia start awal-awal dulu tu? Kita dia dari Kelantan. Dari Kelantan. Ha, kita dari Kelantan. So uh, Allah Yarham, my father lah. Hmm. My father. Uh, dia berhijrah daripada Penang ke Kota Baru. Hmm. Dan buka kat Kota Baru. Kita bermula jual kat Pasar Malam, my father, my late father. Lepas tu pelan-pelan buka satu kedai. Uh, so, that time was memang kata susah lah. It's tough, it's tough. Memang susah. So, daripada satu kedai tu, uh, lepas 20 tahun, kedai pun kedai kecil tau. Lepas 20 tahun, abang saya buka lagi satu kedai papan. Kedai kat, papan. Kedai papan, kat Kuala Terengganu. Mm-hmm. Kecil je. Haa? Huh? Uh, lepas lagi 10-15 tahun Saya pula uh, Buka satu kedai uh, Kat Majid India Kedai yang ketiga tu so, Kedai Majid India saya buka tu Tak terbesar studio ni pun oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Tak terbesar studio ni So this is how we started So after that After orang kata kat Tengah Nung Kota Baru Then Kuala Lumpur Then the next shop The next shop Until today syukur Alhamdulillah Kita ada kedai Ada 68 kedai My date Uh, di seluruh Malaysia lah uh, except for Perlis except for Perlis uh, why is it ada, ada orang lawak dia kata Perlis tak ada mall so Maiden pun tak ada kat situ eh? belum ada tapi belum ada lagi. insyaAllah ujung tahun uh, tengahan tahun depan kita yang, ada yang 68 ni <coughs> uh, combination of uh, hyper store <coughs> dan smaller shops lah ya right. kita 27 hypermarket ok lepas tu kita ada Emporium uh, Emporium tu biasa orang dah tahu yang macam kedai Maiden kat Maiden India lah dulu-dulu tu Maiden is known for Majid India. So, kat Majid India, kat Chowke, kat Selayang. Uh, then we have about 78 tu kita panggil macam My Maiden. Itu shop lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in shop lot, tujuh pintu, lapan pintu macam tu lah. Macam okay. minimart lah. Uh, but you see, minimart is actually normally one to two shops. Okay. Uh, tapi kita pintu tujuh. Tujuh, mm. lapan. Kalau kat Kuantan, empat belas. <laughs> so, kedai lah. It's on the shop lot basis. Kat Kuantan ada empat belas? Empat belas pintu. Oh, 14 uh, pintu. Pintu lah, betul. Shop 14 lock. pintu, tapi masih tak nak panggil dia hypermarket lagi. You can't, you can't. You don't because they are actually shop lot. Hypermarket Ada, by definition, okay. dulu-dulu is 50,000 square feet. 50,000 square feet, okay. Baru dia panggil hypermarket. So, you need that size lah. Is hmm. there an advantage to be called a hypermarket? Maybe dia boleh buat longer hours ke? No. I actually, there's no really advantage. Uh, I think it's a matter what you carry and the size. Mm-hmm. Kita pakai hypermarket tu Kita pakai tu Dia punya SKU Barang yang dia jual tu Banyak sikit lah Normally hypermarket 
Maidin you know, or the Lotus or whoever. Uh, every day, uh, untuk kita 70,000 item minimum yang kita jual. Uh, so kita item. macam, we jual 150,000 SKUs, mm-hmm. 150,000 type of item. Mm-hmm. But 70 of that is a very regular sales lah. Dalam mm-hmm. seminggu tu mesti ada jual lah, 2-3 kali kan. Mm-hmm. Yang lain tu macam maybe songkok, musim perayaan, musim perayaan yes. atau back to school macam tu. Cakap pasal musim perayaan eh. Uh, Maiden mestilah ada macam tadi ah. Datuk cakap, uh, waktu musim perayaan ada songkok. Tapi kalau outside those uh, musim, songkok ada juga. Cuma maybe selection dia kurang sikit ke? Dia macam ni, um, kalau kedai besar, hmm. macam hypermarket, hmm. uh, bila-bila pun ada. Macam ada. dekat Maidin USJ 1 tu eh? Ha, mesti ada. Mesti ada. Mesti ada tapi tempat berbeza. So kalau musim perayaan, songkok tu ada kat bawah. Because ramai akan kembali songkok. Hmm. Tapi bila uh, kata off season, off season, ha. off season dia kita letak kat atas. Kat atas. Tapi songkok tu mesti ada. Mesti ada lagi. Mesti ada. Tapi... Kalau kita pergi kedai kecil macam kita ada kedai kat Kuala Ibai contohnya uh, dia 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 tak akan jual because space is a constraint mm-hmm. so of course for business space is money mm-hmm. so kita jual barang yang kita boleh jual high volume mm-hmm. high volume. this is the main thing business is all volume game or margin mm, betul it's okay volume or margin so tak semestinya kita high volume high volume is always low margin Huh? And low volume is always high margin. Mm-hmm. So macam baju baju kurung contohnya high margin, tapi low volume volume dia setahun dua bulan tu aja bulan mm. puasa bulan raya mm. atau maybe bulan nak, nak raya haji tapi raya haji orang dah tak beli barang <laughs> sekarang dah baju dah habis bayar raya ha. haji after that. <laughs> After the 45 days, orang nak bayar credit card je ha. hutang banyak. Okay okay okay. But but that's the thing lah. Um, tadi saya sebut pasal USG satu punya Maiden tu ya. Eh. Uh, Because IP audience ni, most of them are urbanites. Ha, memang urban lah. Adalah sedikit luar daripada urban, suburban ke. Um, tapi kalau sebut Maiden, mesti teringat yang kat situ. Is that your first biggest one ke? Macam mana? Yeah. So actually, um, dulu orang kenal Maiden tu, Majid, uh, Majid India. Hmm. That is was my main store. Pas, lepas kita buka uh, hypermarket, that the first hypermarket USJ kat, lah. kat USJ. Bawa orang tengok, eh, besar juga Maiden ni. Eh. <laughs> ha, ha, okay. So, this is where it is in business. Uh, that's why I feel that uh, you must never underestimate your competitor. So, bila kita tengok bila Maiden buka kat Subang, uh, sebelah kita tu adalah... Giant. Ada, ha, giant, eh, competitor. Tapi dia pun tak fikir, I don't think this is going to be real competition kot. Hmm. Maiden, kedai runcit je kan. Hmm, hmm. So, never underestimate your competitor. So, when you are not ready for it, not ready for it, Uh, it's dangerous. So bila kita buka Maiden kat Subang Jaya, uh, kita buka what we did. What we did is, you see customer must always remember, dia punya cara dia buat, dia punya cara dia shopping. It's always the same. Uh, it's like that. Habits don't change. Hmm. Macam kalau orang bangun pukul 6 tu, dia bangun pukul 6 lah. Hmm. Kalau dia pergi meeting lambat tu, memang dia akan pergi lambat. Hmm. You see, orang yang pergi semayang jemaat, walaupun masa semayang tu tukar, Obviously, mm-hmm. Zoho pukul satu pun ada. Satu setengah pun ada contohnya. Mm-hmm. Betul. Right? Orang yang pergi lambat, memang lambat. Mm. Kat, dia dia tak ada, dia, dia tak ada, dia kata, eh, saya tak sempat pasal kan my lunch hour one to two. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, saya lambat lah kan. Mm-hmm. Ha? Kalau pukul satu tak sempat. Tapi dia pergi lunch hour three, one to two, Zoho satu setengah pun dia sampai satu empat lima. Mm-hmm. So, habits don't change. Uh, leopard don't change the sports. Tu right? so, dia macam tu lah. So dalam bisnes dia pun sama. So bila saya buka kedai pertama kat Maidin Subang tu, so, I told my people, don't reinvent the wheel. Go to next door, follow their lane. Kalau dia lane one, jual cookies, lane one. Kalau lane lane two is uh, orang kata cereal, mm-hmm. cereal. Lane three kalau susu, susu lah. Mm-hmm. So bila kita buka Maidin tu, bila, walaupun budak kata, Salah tu dia buat tu Tak betul tu okay. Don't be too smart lah Just copy dulu Copy and paste hmm. Follow the Japanese Ambil gambar Copy and paste mm-hmm. Because customer Bila nak masuk kedai First time they shop You don't want to come out Dia kata Mana susu kat kedai hmm. ni Pening lah Alah tak payah lah Saya pergi balik kedai saya lah hmm. They get very frustrated right? So copy and paste So bila orang masuk Dia kata And you know A woman who shop every day You can close your eyes and shop tau. Dia hmm. tahu mana semua barang. Kita je lelaki. Ha, betul. Ha, orang-orang kata, eh, beli, beli susu anak eh. 
<laughs> kat mana ni? Dua, tiga, tiga kepala kita tak jumpa kan? Dia kata, hmm. lane mana tak jumpa ni kat bawah kat atas. Dia tahu you pergi kat lane tiga, third row on the right. Ada susu tu. Hmm. Dan, lepas tu dia dah biasa kan? So, bila kita buka tu, when customer walk into the first my deal, senang shopping kedai ni. Oh, sama juga kat sebelah tu. Hmm. So, that is very important in business. Don't try to be too smart. Hmm. Be smart. But don't try to be too smart. So, so when you copy, but now obviously your neighbor giant tu, dia ada masa bawah dia. Sekarang maybe dia dah bounce balik. Uh, am I right? Dia bounce balik sekejap. Uh, dia rebranding lah. Okay, so so how, I mean, do you improve tak upon whatever you copy tu? Sebab kalau you copy saja, then you akan copy dia to to the valley lah. We we copy until we got you. You got what? We got you. Oh, okay. I mean, we got your loyalty. Oh. So once we have your li- loyalty, then we change. I see. We change left to right and whatever. You introduce the SKU and then maybe uh, that bawah. Different SKU, tambah SKU, uh, move things that we think are more better. Of course, you got to improve. Mm. You cannot be always at the same level, mm. right? So similarly, bila our business went up and went up and went up, their business went down and down and down. They actually decided to demolish the building and make a better building. Mm. So kadang-kadang ni never awaken a sleeping giant, <laughs> a sleeping tiger orang kata kan, a sleeping yes. lion for that matter because they're first sleeping, you dah kacau dia. Dia <laughs> terbangun pula. So they made a nice beautiful building. So when they were putting up the new building, we also didn't just sit. We changed the whole, we spent, the our shop was only, my day was only like five years, six years only tau. Baru lagi tu for, for building kan. Mm-hmm. We spent another 20 million food court kat luar, kat dalam kita bawa kat luar, mm-hmm. Nasi Kandar was on this side, we bought this side. We pula change everything. A new look pula. So bila dia baru, kita pun masuk, eh, my idea. Baru pula eh. Baru juga. Ah, it's just like hotel industry, you know. You know hotels every time, they refurbish. Every five, seven years, they mm-hmm. will refurbish. And kata, cantik hotel, tukar lagi kapet. But they have to do that to keep the customer. See? So kita ni pun orang kata kan sebelum orang cari isteri nombor dua tu make up make up lebih sikit jaga-jaga sikit ha? because once the customer is gone it's very difficult to pull him back right mm. so in in business it's the same thing that you you to keep your customer you have to work very hard because loyal it's very easy to get a customer <coughs> but very difficult to keep that customer and you know your customers are always same customers mm-hmm. uh, very few new customers So better don't lose your customers. Mm-hmm. So you must satisfy that customer. You know, ada baru dua tiga hari dulu my staff, my customer when dia kata, saya beli kasut ni tengok lah dah rusak kasut ni. My staff, tak adalah tengok dia ambil semua kasut dia pusing macam ni, pusing macam ni. Tak jadi pun. Hmm. Ni this customer complain kat mana? Twitter? <laughs> kat Maidin lah. Oh kat Maidin, okay. Dia tadi dia duk complain lah. Saya beli kasut ni baru pakai 10 hari, tengok macam ni. Uh-huh. So my staff ambil kasut yang sama. Dia kata, tak ada pun. Boleh, okay. Tak ada pun. So what's your response? So, So when that conversation was going around, they don't message. See, in Isana, I'm always in many of the right. groups. I'm in 400 WhatsApp group. In the whole, my daily 400 groups. I'm uh-huh. in every group. I happen to pick it up. Uh-huh. I message, just replace the shoe. It doesn't matter. The shoe is 30 ringgit. You don't replace the shoe. It's going to be gone customer. forever. Customer marah, satu. Hmm. He will tell one ten people, and hmm. the 10 people is going to tell 100 people. Oh my idea, my casual quality. It could be one defect. There could be hundreds of reasons. I'm not blaming him. Okay, I'm not saying the quality is not good. Maybe they pakai naik pokok mana dah koyak hmm. ke apa. But why you want to upset a customer for such a small thing? You know. Hmm. And and uh, I learned this from my late father actually. Hmm. You know, it's surprising me. One customer walked into my shop. Kau tak tahu ni? When I was a kid, you know, mm-hmm. customer walked in, he wanted, katalah battery lah. And we didn't have the battery. Kita tak jual. So, when when the customer, I was in front there, eh? <coughs> customer kata, ah, I nak battery, contoh lah. Battery nak 3A lah. Maybe kita ada 2A je kan, kita mm. nak battery. I kata, minta maaf, kita tak ada, tak ada barang. My father kata, tak ada barang? Ada, ada, ada. ada. Ah, tunggu sekejap. Atau ayah, tak ada. Ada barang tu. Tunggu sekejap. Dia pergi kat pintu belakang, dia keluar pintu belakang, he went to the next shop behind, mm-hmm. dia beli bateri tu, dia bawa balik, dia kata, ah, ni ada kat belakang, tak store. Mm. And say, my father, buat susah je, let him go next door. Never lose the customer. Never lose the customer. Eh? Never lose the customer. But, but, 
now you're talking about this never lose a customer. I'm in the business juga lah. Eh? Um, let's talk about margin. Okay, sometimes uh, in my business, uh, they say that do not slash margin sampai you don't make money because you akan uh, disrupt your own industry. That's for high margin business lah. But for your industry, uh, margin ni, do you, do you play around or do you even do a loss leader ke? Massive. Massive? Massive loss leaders. Massive loss leaders. Massive eh? loss leaders. We are in such a low margin business. Mm. Uh, it's very, very sensitive. Very, very sensitive. Uh, we have lost leaders every every day, hmm. every day, uh, and customers sometimes they don't even know, right? They But take it for granted, lah. They take it for granted. They say, "I am ni, wah, ni untuk maya ni hari tu lapan setengah, hari ni tu dua sembilan sembilan, tak ada lah. Kita ni have a margin, and actually jual ayam tu kita rugi aja, <laughs> rugi. Jual berapa pun rugi. Mm-hmm. You see, apa barang kita jual tak rugi? High volume item, basic item. You see. Uh, A person or a, a mother, a mm. mother, uh, which is a housewife, I will look at it. Who are our main shoppers? Can, dia ingat dua tiga harga. Ayam, susu, susu bayi, <laughs> okay. susu bayi mesti dia ingat. Dia, ingat, dia eh? beli <laughs> satu minggu dua kali satu okay. tin dia beli. Eh, so she always remember the price. So, and okay? she can compare lah between because, shops because and previous. Kedai lain dia tahu harga. Okay. Nah, sekarang pula compare, pula kau compare online pula kan? Ah. So that is one. Okay, diapers. Seminggu dua kali hmm. ha, Kalau dia beli dua ke apa Dia kena compare ni ada offer Tak ada offer Dia tahu harga Okay hmm. Lepas tu the main item Ayam Bawang Ikan subjektif Because ikan ni musim hmm. ha? ha, So harga boleh Can go far Bawang boleh jauh Tapi ayam Basic-basic ni kan ha, Bawang tu dia tahu harga Timun Orang tahu harga hmm. So those few item Actually there are 50 items uh, In our uh, Radar every day which we monitor daily ourselves and our competitors. Mm-hmm. Kita kena monitor. Because if you go wrong in that 50 core item, you will lose your business. Mm-hmm. Customer will switch. Switch. Because of these 50 items. So, uh, bolehkah I kata, saf- safely assume these 50 items ni, Maiden akan try to be a loss leader in this? Not all the 50, mm-hmm. but 10 to 15 will theoretically be lost leader. Uh, for the benefit of my audience lah, boleh tak Dato explain lost leader ni apa ya? <laughs> lost leader maknanya kita jual below cost. Below cost. The cost. Ha, jadi contohnya kalau cawan ni kos kita RM2, hmm. kita jual RM1.8 atau kita jual RM1.5. Bukan kita jual lost leader ni atau kita jual murah sebab kita nak habiskan. Hmm. Itu lain cerita. Cawan ni banyak sangat atau baju ni dah warna kuning semua tak cantik oh, sangat off season, uh, tapi off season dah habis kita nak jual itu clearance lah itu, itu clearance clearance many times you lose money hmm. but you have made your money lah ha? tapi loss leader ni macam ayam macam bawang macam timun walaupun kos dia 8 ringgit kita jual 7 setengah hmm. ha, macam minuman coklat yang jenama yang semua orang tahu ha, yang ramai boycott pula sekarang tapi <laughs> tapi it's always a loss leader ah. ha, because semua orang tahu harga so perception is very important Uh, you must never lose the perception game uh, Because once customer Dah terfikir you mahal Habis Because of this one, one of the 50 items uh, Tapi in that sense eh, How do you make money Kalau this are the losses Dekat sini Am I right to assume That you uh, My day lah at least eh, Recoup balik From other things Yang bukan loss leader Of course I mean We are we are not here for charity hmm. We have to recoup We have to recoup So uh, In a basket Of 100 ringgit We have to make sure That For the person would not buy all the 50 item lah. Mm. Okay, they would normally buy five item because hari hari orang tak beli ayam pula. Mm. Hari hari orang tak akan beli bawang, beli seminggu sekali atau then ada barang lain where there would be higher margin. Ice cream. Of, uh, ice cream, of course. <laughs> of course, ice cream is Snacks. the margin. The, the margin. Eh? The yeah. margin. That's why you letak, tengok banyak tempat letak. Tak faham kedai ni banyak sangat. Ya? Lepas tu bila you nak keluar tu, pah, ada lagi satu ada ice lagi cream. Ada lagi asing kat counter. Ah, eh? <laughs> Never pick up a thing at the counter. Near counters because very high margin. But why do you say this? I mean, you know, that's life. No, we want to tell the customer the right thing. Ah, uh, because those are impulse buying. I can tell the hundred times, but people still pick it up. So, so, so this is very interesting. I mean, you are in the business of uh, retail, but you're telling us never buy things at the pickup counter, at the, at the checkout counter, checkout counter, because it's impulse. Eh? It's impulse. But no, even see, it's impulse because I mean, there are two reasons. Hmm. Uh, we put chocolates normally. You want chocolates? Yes. Normally, because definitely in Palah, tengok tu, you know, kita ni very sweet tooth. Mm-hmm. Nampak dia, 
ambil lah satu nanti makan dengan kereta mm-hmm. you know or it could be uh, impulse in the sense that uh, people always tend to forget but if they see they might buy macam batteries mm. batteries tengok tak alamak battery remote tu tadi susah sikit mm. baik saya beli satu so they tend to pick that up mm. you know uh, but but uh, chocolate and especially for families what a child will pick up mm. what a child so when you put diapers kita put toys mm. sebelah dia toys very high margin item mm. okay siapa tahu harga toys kan barang mm. 2 ringgit boleh jual 4 ringgit betul ni mm. eh? but diapers no margin item a mother will be going to pick up the diaper dia bawa anak dia bagi anak dia ma ma and as a parent okay lah okay lah kan okay lah ambil lah satu ambil lah satu Ah, uh, so we 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 don't make money on the diaper. I sure hope every mother who buys the diaper buys the toy, so that we can cover from the toy. I see. Uh, so so they, and this is how the placement of the items are, of course. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know, you put diapers, you put dekat dekat uh, baby milk, right? And then you put uh, children clothes dekat dekat. Mm-hmm. I imagine. Mm, children clothes. I imagine and children clothes is beautiful business because. Parents love to dress their children, mm-hmm. especially if they are girls. Mm-hmm. You see, all the girls are always dolled up. Ha, tukar aja baju. Saya pun dah jadi tuk pun pergi aja. My, I see my wife. Eh? Let's buy this for our granddaughter. Yeah, no, Let's okay. buy this for our son. Bapa kali nak beli pajama tu. Alah ni lain, tu lain. <laughs> you know? Ha, because sekarang they sleep over, pajama dah tak ada tinggal kat rumah. You know? Mm-hmm. These are all impulse uh, item. Mm-hmm. So this is where and children tend to grow. So After one year, you buy another one. After one year, mm-hmm. so so there's a tendency to always buy. Uh, you will wear your same blue shirt for the next five <laughs> years. You're not going to change your size, and you know you will always look good at it. You see? So for men, I that jean can be ten years old. I'm telling you, the one you're wearing, yes. right? <laughs> and, and it is, you see, because men are uh, men don't shop uh, so so much. You know, uh, ladies tend to do it. Uh, so we even you go to any shop primarily, mm. men, men. Is always behind. Mm. Kata, uh, it is a last call lah. You are bad customers anyway. <laughs> huh? So it's last call there. And then uh, when you need to, finally you'll have to go there or you'll be forced by your wife to go there. Uh-huh. Can you go and pick up another shirt or t-shirt please? Mm. You know, and then otherwise this is now my life. I just pick up for you lah. And they get the wrong size. So anyway, they pick it up. So right. So, so Dato, all this data, eh? I mean, I assume you are when you look at the data, ni, you tak simpan data ni dalam Excel. Of course. So there must be a yeah. technology yeah, yeah. that you have employed. Can you tell us a bit more no, about no. that? No, there is massive reporting systems mm. uh, available nowadays, uh, and of course we have our loyalty card. Mm. Uh, that that loyalty card helps. Of course, one, uh, you see. One every day, uh, every day without fail, at nine, eight something in the morning, I get a WhatsApp, and all directors will get a WhatsApp. I know all my store in your sales, mm-hmm. and all my store in your margin. Mm-hmm. I, I I I know, and I will definitely <laughs> open that, and I'll be looking at it to say, oh, what was my sale in Subang, in Kulai? Eh, kenapa sih ni kau rendah? And then next to that is the margin. Eh, how come kedai ni margin rendah ni? You know, what happened? Oh, so those kind of things. So these numbers are very important. Uh, you know, uh, and I find seriously when I have done interviews uh, or when I'm doing some mentoring, mm. kadang-kadang ada lah. You know, all these kind of places kita dipanggil. Eh? I find our entrepreneurs don't have numbers in their fingertips. Numbers and figures. Yeah. Numbers are important. You know, you you must have your data. We do. You must have data. You cannot be just doing something in. You, know, you can talk of the car, but data is very important in business. Mm-hmm. So we know exactly what we sell. We know, uh, example, for for example, we get the groceries, sundries, fresh, and get the household. Then we say, uh, Muslimin, whatever, all our get We know exactly how many percent is groceries and what is the margin. How much is sundries? How many percent? Who buys what to a certain extent? Our loyalty. We know what what customer buys what, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, we also, of course, knows when it's your birthday. For example, if you have my loyalty card, you get a five dollar free. Five dollar, ah, and that I gets people into uh, the shop on your birthday. <laughs> on your birthday, and you have the whole month to shop. Ah, uh, but five dollars, five ringgit lah. Yeah, five ringgit. But I hope you buy hundred lah. Yeah, that's the thing. You bagi as lima ringgit with the niat <laughs> for us to fill up the trolley to buy hundred and two hundred lah. 
of course uh, buy not only to buy but sometimes people don't come ah. it's more of a trigger kita dapat voucher and you know people are unfortunately i don't want to say suckers for, for vouchers <laughs> so, suckers too eh i just not explain eh we got that uh. sebut bahasa inggeris suckers adalah uh, senang kena di ajak uh, tak nak kata ditipu tapi diajak uh, aku bagi kau gula kau datang sini uh, kau apa datang pasal gula je uh, dia gula <laughs> lah uh, yalah so dia dapat tu so, macam i have even my wife kata i ada voucher i kena pergi Kena explain. pergi kan? Kena pergi. Expire lagi dua hari. Kata, lima ringgit. Expire ni. Ha. Sekarang kena pergi. Hari ni expire. Kata, alah lima ringgit. No, no, no. Nak pergi. Pergi habis lah. Lima ringgit dah beli seratus lima ringgit. Betul. Jadi, just for Betul. that voucher kan. Mm-hmm. Very seldom a person walks in, uses the voucher and comes out. Hmm. <coughs> That's why you see people giving vouchers all the time. But, <coughs> I think you have to be careful what kind of voucher. I mean, seriously, a Maiden $5 voucher, you can buy a chicken lah. Contohnya kan. Mm. Tapi you dapat voucher untuk beli baju ni is to me is a gimmick in a way because baju tu RM100 mm-hmm. bukan barang asas kan mm-hmm. tapi kalau Maiden voucher you know many many years ago we actually did put a, a Maiden voucher in the star paper, star paper mm-hmm. many years ago habis tak paper habis tak boleh dapat star paper ha. orang ambil semua paper bawa pasal dia potong voucher and, and this voucher is uh, apa tu panggil lah cash voucher eh? maknanya tak ada minimum spend ke apa tak tak, tak. Oh. of course now people come up with more creative uh, uh, you buy $100 get $10 ringgit uh-huh. I mean those are gimmicks lah mm-hmm. all, kind, all, all kind of gimmick tapi yang ni is a $5 ringgit cash voucher cash pun voucher. ni you beli barang RM5 pun RM5 je lah tak ada bayar RM1 pun tak payah tambah tak payah tambah uh, dapat habis paper Because uh-huh. the value value of a voucher kat Maidi is very high. Because you can buy barang asas. Mm-hmm. Nak beli gula, boleh kan? Betul. Ha, tapi kalau kata voucher 20% off for dinner at ABC. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, sebab sebab IB credit card tu, some premium credit card kan, dia kata 10% off the card. All this kedai-kedai yang I would never step into sebab mahal, you know, the moment you masuk, you would spend more than what you you gain okay, okay. tapi for my din as datuk sebut uh, cash voucher and even birthday tu pun cash voucher eh? hmm? the birthday voucher tu is a cash voucher it's a cash voucher it's you just walk voucher. in you spend the five dollars but we hope that i mean like i said two things number one uh, mm-hmm. you are a regular customer we are saying thank you to you mm-hmm. if you have forgotten us we are saying please come again that's that's, that's two okay of course you see selalu you masuk kedai Eh, cantik pula baju ni. Contoh lah kan. Uh, sekarang ramai pakai batik. <laughs> dah, dah back to so-called the batik time now. Right. Ramai pakai batik. So, we have a good selection of batik. Batik kita RM49. RM59, mm-hmm. you know. Kat luar tu, maklumlah RM100, RM200 baju. So, you get the RM59 batik shirt mm-hmm. kat my day. So, uh, it's a value for buy lah. I mean, it's okay. a value buy. Datuk, um, Let's talk a bit about your competition. Tadi Datuk kata Datuk ada 68 kedai eh? hmm. across Malaysia, uh, combination of hypermarket, emporium and kedai kecil-kecil lah yeah. yang shop lots. Uh, but typically orang zaman sekarang ni, uh, dia suka pergi this shop called, uh, I sebut je eh, uh, Speed Mart. <laughs> Speed Mart is, apa yang nampak dia so much closer. Sakit telinga boleh sebut. <laughs> Sorry Datuk. Uh, closer to the uh, apa uh, kawasan perumahan. So how does uh, Datuk Uh, handle this. This is like this. Uh, that is convenient shopping. Mm. You don't go to Maiden for convenient shopping. Mm-hmm. You, you got 10 minutes to buy something. You go to a convenient like shop. Okay. I mean, even like if people go to 7-Eleven, mm. you know, prices at 7-Eleven is very, very high. Mm-hmm. But yeah, 24-7. Mm-hmm. So that's it. You pay for it. Right? Okay. So uh, even uh, 99 speed man, um, But the SKUs will be limited. Mm-hmm. Maksudnya, kita ada 100,000 item, mm-hmm. 70 yang customer beli lebih kurang hari-hari, 70,000, the total SKU in the 99 SPM is baru 3,500. Okay. So, if you want cashew nut yang coated honey, <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, you definitely will not find in a so, convenient shop. Right. Diet Coke tak ada? Ah, coke diet Coke tak ada lah. Dia ada Coke. Mm. Ah, you see, so so SKU is limited. Mm-hmm. Of course, fresh you will never find. Ah, okay. Timun dah keduk tu ada lah kan? Because <laughs> dia dalam fridge kan? But you will not find ikan, sayur, yeah, fresh, fresh you will not find. So what happen is those kind of shops, orang will go because eh, susu anak dah habis lah. Mm-hmm. Nak beli satu dua barang je. Ah, so they go and their 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 spend, their average spend per customer spend can be five ringgit, 
15 ringgit 20 uh-huh. ringgit Arpu je Ours is 100 ringgit mm. 95 ringgit Average basket is 95 ringgit so, mm-hmm. It's a trolley Orang masuk my day is a trolley Orang masuk uh, kedai convenient dia Dia angkat je lah Dua barang dia keluar Dua barang dia keluar Beri wokok mm-hmm. <laughs> Macam tu lah Uh, Datuk, I, I present uh, dekat Maidin USC 1 tu Because that's the only one I pergi lah kan uh, Kesian <laughs> Kita kat sini <laughs> Tak dulu because I stayed in Subang Jaya So closest one is the hypermarket in Maidin USC Macam good store Yes um, Ada dua level Satu level is for normal people Atas tu is for borong hmm. um, Borong tu, okay Kalau kat bawah tu dah murah Kat atas tu dia lagi murah So this is ultimate volume game lah Mm. You see, not many uh, do this because you see, you you you, you mentioned my din, my din. That means nama pun dia my din wholesale hypermarket. Pemborong. Okay, so we are actually wholesale. Mm-hmm. Ramai kedai-kedai runcit akan beli kat my din. Mm-hmm. Ramai NGOs akan beli kat my din. You know, actually for your pantry, contohnya, you ada pantry. Maybe you beli kopi, whatever. Forgetting your house. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are offices, kan? Yang pakai pantry mm-hmm. ha, Yang staff dia boleh minum kopi whatever. Yes. They, they, they stock up the pantry Dia nak barang yang harga borong lah sikit mm-hmm. So they, they, they buy from my din uh, NGOs macam uh, Now NGO sekarang ni ramai Yang kata nak sedekah lah mm. Bawa pun anak-anak yatim pergi Baju sekolah ke baju raya Dia go to my din because harga kita harga tetap uh, Very competitively priced I mean you can get a full set uh, Of baju sekolah baju, You can get Baju sekolah, uh, seluar sekolah, kasut sekolah, beg sekolah, set uh, stationery for hundred ringgit. Mm-hmm. Songkok sekali. Mm-hmm. Sama dengan perempuan dengan tudung sekali. Sekarang tu ringgit aja. Zaman mahal orang kata kan. Kak Maidin murah lagi. Uh, bila musim perayaan pun, baju Melayu Kak Maidin RM89, RM99. Baju Melayu. The same baju Melayu at my A competitor could be RM159. Some have got 229, 249. Mm-hmm. Barang sama. Barang Tapi sama? Yang, barang sama. Same supplier? Same supplier. Kampung sama, semua sama. Beza tu, yang tu ada influencer lah. Oh. Uh, okay. But are, are we talking about this? Faiz pakai dia. Lepas tu, <laughs> show yeah, dia. Cakap sikit kata, lah. Ah, adalah, adalah hype sikit. Uh-huh. Sebab barang tu barang sama. Barang sama. Now, cakap pasal barang ni, nak tahulah, uh, Datuk punya stores ni, source item daripada mana ni? I mean, I assume jawapannya panjang lebar lah. But can we no, give no, like... No, basically, basically, every, all of a source. I mean, the the world market is China, obviously. Mm-hmm. Right? So everything, everything almost under the sun comes from China. Okay. We get the source from China, <coughs> from India, from Indonesia, from Thailand. Mm-hmm. Uh, basic, lebih kurang, tak jauh. Uh, tapi kalau barang branded-branded so-called makanan MNC, mm-hmm. or those normal that... It's always locally sourced because MNCs are all local, lah, kan? Mm-hmm. So your 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 meal. Sorry, Doctor. Will you explain MNC to the uh, multinational? Right. Multinational. Yang 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 Nestle, yang DKSA, yang ni semua ni, um, they have offices here, distributors kat sini. Dekat sini. So Milo will be locally sourced. Your Wico will be locally sourced. Maggie, Mami, you know, semua ni local, lah, kan? Mm-hmm. Uh, kalau kalau kita ikan contohnya, ikan ni. Fresh, of course, locally sourced. Frozen, we import. Import from Pakistan, from India, you know, from Vietnam. Ah, uh, you see, just sekarang nak musim nak raya baku mu. Hmm. Uh, from from Tunisia, mm-hmm. uh, we import from Iran, from from Saudi. You know, so we are very big importers. So line pada barang yang kita buy from the multinational, the yeah, the rest normally 90% percent we will be importing ourselves. We are importers. So, Datuk punya company ada im- team of importers lah. Maknanya, you guys tak harapkan orang lain. It's all you. Me, my brother. Uh-huh. And of course, massive staff lah. Massive uh. staff. Straight from the factory ke? Yes. Straight yes. from the factory. So, so, we, so to we go, cut down the uh, cost. Kita pergi for exhibitions right. normally. Ini kalau Canton, Canton Fair, you know. Sekarang, there's a... Uh, Uh, Gulf Fair mm. and Gulf Fair so for food fair where two or three of my staff will be going you see, so you go to f- exhibition tapi dah lama sangat ni tak payah sangat pergi banyak exhibition lah mm-hmm. exhibition normally to find new suppliers, new suppliers. tapi many of them dah, dah lama lah 
dok beli bawang dengan orang tu jugaklah hmm. from China pun orang tu kat Pakistan daripada India dah oh, band bawang tak. orang tu lah dua tiga orang everywhere you will have two three people supplying the same thing hmm. for obviously for kita nak dia compete among themselves so kita tahu market prices lah hmm. so of course China uh, we me my brothers my staff we go from Ewu to Shenzhen to Zhejiang to you name the place you will be there lah hmm. Mongolia je belum lagi okay <laughs> Okay, uh, so so now because of e-commerce lah, eh, uh, kalau kita tengok kat TikTok shop, kita tengok dekat Shopee pun dah boleh beli barang-barang keperluan ni <coughs> secara online. So is uh, is my din joining or against or macam mana ni of this e-commerce for barang-barang we keperluan? We are there. We are there. I mean, you can go to Shopee. There's a my din in Shopee online. Mm-hmm. I mean, you go to Shopee. You, there's a my din shop That's right, in yeah. Shopee. You go to BG Mall. There's a my din in there. You go to Lazada. My din is there. Is there? Uh, So we are, we are there, we are there. It's not to say we are not there. Uh, we don't push so much, but we are there uh, because you know uh, data is important. Mm-hmm. When you shop in Shopee, Shopee, Shopee keeps your da- data, and Shopee is all these people are naughty people in the long term mm. because they have the data. That's right, they keep the data, and then they open their own shop. Mm. They, they open their the own lah, kan? Ah, they open their own shop. Maybe Shopee jual juga barang dia sendiri. Kadang-kadang, mm. see, jahat. <laughs> yeah. So Alibaba pun dua kali lima orang kata kan So it's not really advantageous uh, to go on those platforms For bigger players mm. Not for the smaller players, for the bigger players Because why don't you do it yourself right? But but we are there to to go with the wave okay. Because that's how you learn so How you learn, how how business is being done mm. Kita jangan kita agur sangat Oh saya tak payah mm. tak, 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 tak. But, but you learn the business So you can go to this kind of thing uh, But our core business is still offline, lah. Offline. offline. Okay. I'm saying, I'm not saying online is not going to be there. But you know, studies have also shown that, kadang-kadang the new generation, uh, they're going back to offline shopping, offline shopping oh. because they've they're losing the emotional feel, the human touch. You know, dulu bila you pergi shopping centre, shopping centre. Mana ada kedai kopi kat bawah mm-hmm. Food court kat atas mm. Bawah tu semua kedai mask Kedai baju mm-hmm. kan? You go to the, all the new shopping centers You pergilah Kat pavilion Baru buka kat Damansara mm-hmm. Tengok-tengok masuk je kedai kopi kat kiri You go mm-hmm. to Bangsa Shopping kat, On the right is Ben On the left is uh, you know, Starbucks ke apa kan mm-hmm. You masuk dalam pun kedai. The shopping center Prime areas Are being occupied Kat ground floor ni Ke prime mm-hmm. tau By food Mm-hmm. Because now it has become the thing to do. Eh, come go for kopi, bina kopi je. Papa mm-hmm. kedai kopi sekarang, all kind of kopi, cuma mm-hmm. kopi croissant. Mm-hmm. Kan? Tapi banyak kedai, and they are doing well. They are doing well. actually F&B business is currently the best business, the best business. Uh, good margin. Good margin. Ah, uh, good business. If you have good margin, I'm not in F&B business. Mm. <laughs> I don't go into things that I don't know. But but your shops, apa? Sorry, you punya happy market semua pun ada F&B punya section. Eh? Ada ada food court, ada food court lah. Ada food court, but there's a reason for food court to attract. I I don't know how to say this. It's not a nice thing to tell. But see, we need a food court. I food court is to attract, but we have our own ready to eat also. Betul ada, ada. Yang mana ya barang tu kalau ready to itu kita masak sendiri. Mm-hmm. So we are in the food business, but that part of ready to eat is there. To ensure our fresh is always fresh, mm-hmm. so our disposal are lower. Because you know, orang bila shopping <coughs> kan, dia nak beli ikan contohnya kan. Mm-hmm. Dia boleh beli tengok ikan tu, dia mata tengok mata dia, hmm, oh fresh. Tapi ikan yang dia buat macam tu dia tak ambil, hmm. dia ambil ikan lain. Kenapa? That's human nature. <laughs> you you pergi ambil uh, nak you want to buy a, a fruit, mm. an apple or a pear. You tekan. Hmm. You tekan kan? Yes. Masuk sikit kan? Ha, ah, betul, betul. <laughs> Tapi, <laughs> buah yang you tekan tu, you tak ambil. You tak ambil, you ambil yang lain. Ambil yang lain. So, this is disposal, you know. Oh. So, what we do is, because we have a ready to eat, right? You this dispose will go it. there. Ah. Of course, the fruit is still good. Ah. So, kita potong, Bajang jual, uh, yes. jual uh, fruits. Kalau ikan tu, kita masak, you know. So, you save on disposal. So, in a way, macam vertical integration juga lah kan? Of Instead of waste it into ah, the so, bins. So, we save, we save. And then, barang yang kita jual tu pun murah. Uh-huh. So, you can get mihun RM2. Uh-huh. Mana ada orang jual mihun? Uh-huh. Dah tak ada? Ada macin tak dekat uh-huh. bahagian food tu? Ada, yeah. ada sama margin lah? 
because the food cost is almost zero cost. Mm. It's coming from so called on this side. Uh, waste. I mean, food have gone disposal. to the waste, lah. Okay, good, disposal. Good food, but dispose. I, I mean, kadang-kadang people kata a lot of disposal going out. There are a lot of people who come and collect and they they and they give to food kit. I mean, food food kitchen. Food kitchen, yes, yes. Food kitchen, which is this is the same food, lah. Mm-hmm. They go to the food kitchen. They say we take the same food and we cook. And you monetize it, lah. And we monetize it, but. Not only kita monetize, kita jual murah. Uh-huh. And it was fine. Our staff, kalau kat Maidin Subang Jaya, depan tu ada kilang-kilang kita. Kilang-kilang, all those people be buying during lunchtime. Of course, kita pun ada menu ramah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maidin ni menu ramah. So, RM5 dia. Mm-hmm. Uh, people buy lah. You know. Okay, okay. Uh, Dato' tahu pasal Costco tak? Costco. In the States. Costco. Yeah, yeah Costco. Of course, uh. of course lah. That will be your, I wouldn't say competition. They're not here. You're not there. <laughs> Tapi Costco is so popular dekat States. Uh, they have this thing called Costco Run. So, kalau betul-betul mesti, you know, they nak stock up on the mie ke apa-apa lah, makanan ke, instead of going to Walmart, they would go to Costco. Kalau Costco ada kat situ lah. I mean, the owners are the same. Ah. The owners are the same. A Walmart is a normal Maidin. Normal Maidin. A Costco is a Maidin wholesale. Wholesale yang yang stand on its own. Ah, But this one is, yeah, they stand on the own. Maidin, borong ke atas, retail ke bawah. Hmm. Dia, because US is a very big market. Right. Okay? okay, so they come up with another brand. The owner are the same, tapi dia buat Costco. And they do very good business, uh, but it's just very big volume driven. Uh, you have to be a Costco member, those kind of things. Like, then you you buy. And I, I've gone, of course, uh, to Costco, Walmart, of uh, Kmart. Mm. <laughs> you, should, you should pick up a book, seriously. Uh, seven scenes of Kmart. Seven Sins of Kmart. Because Kmart went bankrupt. Mm-hmm. Right? And then, but they came up. It's a very interesting book and very good for your audience actually to mm-hmm. understand uh, the seven sins of Kmart which is seven mistakes made by Kmart and why they went bankrupt. Mm. Seriously. Okay. It's a good book because when you read the book <coughs> and I read the book and I realized that I better not make the same mistakes. Mm-hmm. Lah. Can you give like one or two pointers from the book? Uh, Kmart, uh, just like my Dean, uh, When we first started, they all were town-based. If you go to Maidin Old Shops, Maidin Mereka Dari ni, Maidin Kuantan, depan bus station. Mm-hmm. Maidin Kota Baru, dekat bus station. Because mm. those days, bus station lah. Orang naik bus. Mm. Mana ada orang naik kereta api, eh? mm-hmm. orang naik bus is the main thing. So Maidin Kota Baru, dekat bus station. Just five minutes away. Kuantan, three minutes away. You know, uh, kat Coket, sana. kat Sina Kota, Lakang bus station. Mm-hmm. These are my... Because uh, urban. Urban business was in urban centers. You see? So, kat US pun sama. KK Mart used to be in urban centers. Mm-hmm. But as population moved to suburban, they did not move. They did not. They, did they not. stayed. They stayed there. Uh-huh. Then you have the Walmart who suburban. That's right. So, they got war. Because population ni, dia tak, tak, tak suka duduk wanda lah. Dia suka duduk kat luar, mm-hmm. value for time, I want some relaxation, tak nak bandar, very noisy. So, what Walmart did is, wherever population start open, dia buka. KK Mart tend to stay at their place. Those days lah. Mm-hmm. Those days. And this is one of the scenes of KK Mart. So, bila I baca buku tu, I pun, oh my God, all my stores are in town. <laughs> <laughs> bila you baca buku ni? <laughs> When I was flying somewhere to somewhere, I picked up a right, book. Right, but, but uh, uh, which, which year was it? Before, or oh, a long time ago. So it was a long time. So, uh, so you managed to buy a book too? I better pick up. <laughs> uh, so that, that's I mean, why you reading, moved. Reading, reading. Uh, that's, so that, that's why we also say, same thing. Uh-huh. Uh, sekarang pun, my reading is Subang Jaya. Betul? Subang Jaya is suburban. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tunjung is suburban. You know, I mean, most of our bigger stores are all suburban. Mm-hmm. Our earlier old stores are all in urban centers. Mm-hmm. You see? So urban center is not wrong, but smaller stores, Because cost goes up. Betul. Cost goes up, your rental is high, your volume, and business moves. Moves, you know. Mm. If you remember, kalau you, dulu kalau nak shopping raya, mm. you akan pergi Majid India. Betul. You pergi Wisma Yakin. I pergi Komta. Komta, kalau kat Penang, eh? kalau kat, kat sini, you akan pergi Majid India. Mm-mm. Majid India, Wisma Yakin. Mm-mm. Sekarang orang dah tak fikir dah pergi Wisma Yakin. Mm. Betul. You kata tak payahlah. Kat sebelah ni, Sya'alam pun ada. Betul. <laughs> a few good shopping, I boleh beli baju raya. Mm. You know? Who want to go to the traffic jam? You see? So that that business has changed. So that Majid India now, my shop, which used to cater for you when you come for raya, sekarang, we are catering for the Indian tourists. 
Itu barang dah tukar pula hmm. Sekarang kita jual Cadbury coklat hmm. Kita jual blanket Dia hmm. kata apa lah ni Malaysia Apa pakai blanket Orang bang lah Kan dia balik dia bawa blanket Betul So kadang-kadang Orang budak kita pergi ke Maidi ni Kata pergi kat Sina Kota ke Pergi kat Majin Jaya apa dah jadi budak ni? Tak pandai menega ke ni? Dua-dua blanket-blanket banyak-banyak buat apa? Hmm. Dua luggage, beg luggage yang besar je. Yang kecil tak ada kat sana. Hmm. Banyak besar-besar je. Pasal hmm. orang nak balik kan? Dia ambil beg besar. Betul. Kita, when we travel, we buy a 20-inch bag. Beg kecil. Hmm. Kita tak perlu beg besar unless Betul. you really going somewhere overseas lah kan? Hmm. We are light traveler. Tapi orang Bangladesh, Nepal, bila dah balik kampung, dia perlu beg besar kan? stuff everything lah. Dia punya merchandise and whatnot. So, beg besar, besar dan murah. Besar dan murah. That's Atau beg guni. Hmm. Dia tak nak juga beg besar, dia nak beg guni je. Nak besar. Pasal apa dia kata, balik tu dia nak buang je. Nak, hmm. Kenapa nak membazir? Atau selimut tebal-tebal. Kita tak perlu walaupun kita aircon, a, 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 a thin blanket. Malaysia suffice. Sebab kat sana dia nak tebal-tebal, dia sejuk. Hmm. Atau TV. Hmm. <laughs> Orang bawa balik. So, the business model for that place, kita kena tukar. So, for, for Majid India, <coughs> which is becoming a gold center, eh, semua gold kedai. Center, eh, okay. ha, it's a gold center. Saya dulu, saya banyak kedai kat Majid India, hmm. owned by the family. Tapi, kita dah bagi sewa semua. Hmm. Tak padan dengan jual, orang kata ikan kering dengan coklat. Eh? Baik kita bagi sewa lagi elok. Opportunity cost lah kalau jual. Lepas, lepas tu, macam kat Sina Kota. Sina Kota, you know Kota Raya, Sina Kota. They all the Nepali, the Filipinos. So, kat sana, boleh jual barang. Kalau kita pergi kat Kelang, ramai orang Indonesia. Hmm. So, barang lain kena jual tau. Kalau nak jual, katalah sleeveless blouse ke, uh, skirt ke, although we don't sell that many, boleh jual kat Sina Kota because Filipino. Mm-hmm. Ha, kalau nak baju kurung murah, kita jual kat Kelang. Because Indonesian. Kan? Dia yeah. Kalau baju murah, dia nak balik kampung, dia beli. You know, so, T-shirt murah-murah. You know? Kalau T-shirt apa pun, kalau barang tak boleh habis, Antara kat Sina Kota atau kat Kelang. Mm-hmm. Because foreign migrant labor, eh, t-shirt RM5, RM10, value for money, kita boleh claim. And so all these decisions untuk letak barang apa, <coughs> SKU apa kat which kedai, is based on data. Okay. And then this data, uh, Datuk ada pakai uh, AI ke untuk tentukan? Ada. Ada. Yes, eh? We have, we have, we have, I mean of course we have, the, the core is our AC, SAP system, lah, SAP system, which is a very a good system. Uh, very expensive system <laughs> unfortunately but uh, for the volume that we do because we do about 3 3.5 billion dollar business a year so system must be robust lah mm. you know uh, plus kagang dengan cyber cyber attack cyber right. <laughs> we, we better we have to spend a lot of money for ransomware and all those kind of thing of course we have AI behind it uh, our warehouse runs on the WMS system you know our 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 so called Uh, reconciliation runs another system, you know. Bank bank reconciliation pun dulu, if you remember how you balance your 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 checkbook kan, mm-hmm. uh, if you check, the pin, tak, you mark, mark. Sekarang dah tak ada dah. Mm-hmm. You just in system reconcile, Betul. yang tak boleh reconcile, it spits out. Then you kata, eh, ni apa ni? Tak cari, tak jumpa cari. You cari lah. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's all reconciliation. Even our payment model is all auto auto payment. You know? It's auto. Mm-hmm. Mana you? Orang yang terima barang Tak tahu apa yang akan dia terima hmm. Dia scan saja Dia tak tahu hmm. It's blind Because dia, dia tak boleh tahu Kalau tak dia boleh tipu kan hmm. Dia boleh scan Scan, 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 scan. Automatically it's feeded The invoice from the supplier Goes online This They they so have the so called The good receiving advice uh, Matches with a PO Issued by the buyer The PO come from this side The good receiving come from this side And the invoice from there come that side, it matches, match. It go down straight. When time to pay, pay, kita tekan butang aja. Mm-hmm. So, so this, this is very important. Otherwise, <laughs> susah lah. But you pay volume. No, because so when you have a volume, right. I mean, you you cannot do any other way. And now, tak lama lagi, uh, apa orang kata ni, e, apa, e, e invoice. E invoice. E invoice. Ada, By the Alistian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> itu satu pering kepala. But, but, uh, The opportunity is that since you dah the system too and since all your suppliers have to use e-invoice, yeah, yeah. then it's so much easier uh, to integrate lah. Yeah. Um, in that yeah. sense, and Dato, <coughs> usually I, I like to ask this question towards the end sebab bukan tak nak borakan dia orang. Uh, story of beginning is important tapi kita letak beginning tu towards the end. Nak tahulah Dato punya uh, latar belakang pendidikan hmm. before you started doing businesses ni. Yeah, so I mean... Uh, 
kita belajar kat sekolah hmm. kat SIC habis form 5 hmm. uh, supposed to be a, I mean science student hmm. uh, not bad lah science student hmm. tu pergi kat India nak jadi doktor hmm. doktor yeah. went to India sama belajar uh, to do my pre-medical dia pre-med. kat okay. India kan you do have to do your you do pre-university they call That's it right. pre-med so I went to India for two years uh, trying to do my pre-med uh, I got lucky and lucky depending how you look at it hmm. I got an offer Uh, of a place in the US okay. to do my bachelor's degree kat Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, I think those days, uh, uh, what, 50 years ago uh, or 48 years ago tu, kau dapat offer pergi kat US tu macam dapat offer pergi kat bulan lah kan. <laughs> Sekarang, pagi pergi orang boleh balik petang kata kan. Right. Those days is like, oh my God, USA man, hmm. you know. So I pergi kat US got my family to finance difficult mm-hmm. we were not uh, they were one that one shop uh, two shop to so my, it was self finance lah bukan scholarship right? uh, not initially okay. uh, but after my first year alhamdulillah i was not too bad lah mm-hmm. not too bad then mara gave me a loan mara uh, gave me a loan uh, i met my current wife kat sana uh, uh, so adalah good lah jumpa kat sana bercinta mm. uh, got married came back I got my bachelor. Yeah, I did my master's. Bachelor's in chem. I'm a chemist. Mm. I'm a chemist. I'm not a business student. Mm. I'm a chemist. But I always tell people that it's good to do uh, a science, maths, uh, uh, accounts. Uh, so that makes you technically more numbers. You know? Right, right. Numbers. I, I'm always, number is very important. Tau. Yeah, figures. Uh, eh? uh, kalau kita punya MBA, MBA ni is very broad. Okay? Mm-hmm. But I think you must be meticulous. Money. Right. Uh, retail is detail uh, everything is detail so you 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 get that feel you pandai kira lah mm-hmm. uh, so then I did my masters in business then I came back I work in a bank uh, uh, at a Malaysian merchant bank Arab Malaysian merchant uh, that's not M-Bank eh? M-Bank lah M-Bank lah yeah, okay. but those days was called Arab Malaysian merchant mm-hmm. bank sekarang M-Bank lah dah ada tukar sekarang mm-hmm. but worked there for 8 years and then I left and then I opened the first shop kat kedai pertama kat Majid India lah. Hmm. The rest is history. The rest is history. Okay. Um, I pernah dengar juga, I mean, <coughs> uh, very smart students, astrophysics, physics, uh, doctorates. Once they habis belajar, dia bela- dia kerja dekat banks ataupun investment banks because they are very particular with numbers. So it's easy lah for you, bukan nak kata for you lah, I mean for someone of your background untuk buat benda ni because you memang particular about figures and stuff lah. Uh, having said that eh, tadi Datuk ada kata pasal meeting your first wife dekat US. Nak tanya lah, um, sebab zaman sekarang ni adalah kes-kes uh, orang cerita pasal kahwin dua, kahwin tiga. How much of an impact uh, or ataupun support uh, did your wife give you and how much push? Uh, macam for example, uh, Datuk ada tak cerita-cerita pasal business dengan wife? Do, do you guys work together to jayakan the business? You know, I don't think uh, uh, they, they, the people always say uh, behind a successful man uh, is the woman. They say behind That's a successful say, yes. man. Uh, my wife will never agree that lah. But my wife will say beside next to <laughs> beside the successful man. Come behind, nah, next. <laughs> next, okay. And I might even go there. In, in front behind. of it, sit <laughs> in front of it because I think uh, untuk saya, uh, my wife is the most supportive wife lah. And you know, I I, I tell this many times. I kata that uh, to be a successful person, mm. a man or woman, you better marry the right woman lah, mm. or the right man for that matter. Because mm. if you marry the wrong person, if you don't get the support, kalau so dia tak support, I kata abang tak balik lagi bang pukul lima ni bang. You know, I nak pergi tengok wayang hari ni. You know, mm. eh, hey, mari dah pergi shopping. You know. I nak beli back ham ham you finish lah you know? but but a supportive one would say uh, apa tak balik lagi saya tunggu kejap ataupun support lah kan correct so to so i think uh, people tend to underestimate and they tend to forget the role of a woman because a woman is the mother to your child mm-hmm. so imagine lah kita ni pergi kerja atau pergi kedai balik ah oh, letih lah nak baca paper lah mana letih saya dia pun kerja juga my wife says work uh, mm-hmm. as a lecturer she's an academician kan okay so the 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 kerja sama juga pun i mean not to say any work is easier kan mm-hmm. dia pun kerja she have her pressure kerja jaga anak dua orang <laughs> balik masak you know 
So kadang-kadang uh, you know lepas tu the husband pula uh, will be have his own demand you know mm. where's my tea you know, I'm not the the old, I'm a bit more old fashioned maybe you know I tak pergi masak sangat lah you know mm. tapi pandai juga kalau kadang-kadang uh, kalau tak ada maid kita tolong-tolong but after all she's my wife and you know so uh, the traditional uh, kind of model so the sacrifices the woman makes is massive massive mm-hmm. and, it, and, and I think you must always acknowledge that the the wife in the family or the mother for that matter uh, the sacrifices they make for you and we kita lupa lah kita selalu lupa uh, and we don't uh, appreciate uh, and we don't say enough time thank you mm. I, I I mean I, we are all guilty I'm sure I'm also guilty of that you know uh, because I I don't think you can be successful without that support from the wife and of course support from the family though mm. I I don't discount No, my brother, my elder brother, my two younger brother. The support they give, the support they give, and their wives, mm. their wives. So my elder brother' wife, dah kahwin, and dia jaga kedai juga. Mm. All all her life, she be taking care of the shop until maybe now. Of course, the last 10, 15 years, that was it. Tak tak bayar dah jaga kedai. Mm. Even my second brother's wife, my third brother's wife, semua istri all were were in the shop because. Uh, orang kata free employment kot <laughs> tak payah bagi kaji but mana cari orang kan you know mm. i mean those days when you can't afford it you know so i think uh, the support from that and not discounting the staff lah staff mm-hmm. of course uh, the core staff mm-hmm. staff come and go staff Betul. come and go but i think you always have the core right that that, that that 20 people who die for you kind of thing you know even they die for you also go and they come back sometimes but you always have that core 20 30 people i see yes This is what makes my day. And I, I always find, I tengok, kalau staff berhenti kerja, we let them go. Mm. The staff balik, kita kata, uh, we must be doing something right. Mm. I got so many staff uh, in my day, seriously, mm-hmm. at a uh, certain level, mm-hmm. who have left and have come back. Mm. Uh, so we must be doing something right. Uh, and I'm telling you, it's not money. Mm. It's not money. Not, not just money lah. It's not money. I mean, we are not paying them so much higher right. than the, the market, you know. Mm-hmm. But they come back because maybe for the culture, mm-hmm. the culture of caring, of caring, uh, culture of honesty, integrity. Uh, we don't cheat people. Mm. Kita ni makan duit halal saja. Alhamdulillah. Uh, kita, kita, kita tak tipu. I mean, don't cheat. Don't cheat and please pay your debt. You're talking about financing. Eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, lalu bayar hutang. Betul. That's Kalau orang tak halalkan, you bawa sampai mati. Eh? Betul. Uh, but that is one part of it. I don't care. That's a different story. But your reputation. Betul. So my first shop bila I buka kedai ke Majid India, I tak ada duit tau. No money. I asked my father, tolong sikit lah. <laughs> Nak buka kedai ni, kata. Bapak kata, saya pun mana ada duit. Hmm. But he said, you letak nama Maidin. Letak nama Maidin. Pinjam nama lah. Pinjam nama je, dia hmm. kata. You, you, actually, he's not the owner, you know. Hmm. My brother lah. Pakai nama Maidin, okay. Your my supplier yang hantar barang kat Kota Baru, kat, kat Tengah tu, dia akan hantar barang. Dia akan hantar barang situ, okay? Hutang. Hutang. Tapi dia kata, jangan lupa bayar. Mm. So that is reputation. You see? So that reputation is important. Because sekarang pun, orang kata, uh, pandemic lah, COVID lah, I'm sure many of us, I'm sure including yourself, had very tough time during COVID. My Disney pun had very tough time. But that reputation helps. Kata bila susah, I always feel that, you know, dia hujan ni kan, dia hujan kat sana, hujan kat sini. Bila hujan kat sana, I I lend you my umbrella. Hmm. Bila, don't don't forget, dia akan hujan kat tempat saya pula. So, mm-hmm. maybe you be kind enough to lend me your umbrella. So, it's, it's your, and this is all reputation. Reputation. <coughs> and reputation uh, makes a difference. Uh, in business. In okay. business, because that phone call, I mean, if you have worked in the bank, if you're a forex dealer, you know, <laughs> If you quote, that's it. Whether you make a million or you lose a million, you dah quote tu, janji di tepati. Mm. You cannot say, oh, I made a mistake. Mm-hmm. I cannot. Uh, I hutang tu jangan lah. I, mean, I find very sensitive. People tend to takut angkat telefon tau. Bila you hutang orang kan, mm. hutang orang, orang telefon kata, alamak, amat lagi lah tak bayar hutang. Angkat lah telefon tu. Mm-hmm. Dia bagi hutang. Explain lah the situation. Uh, explain eh? to him. Kata, minta maaf lah, hujan sikit. Ha, tak minggu depan tak boleh tapi maybe minggu kedua maybe RM100 tak boleh saya cuba RM50 and then keep that word keep that word mm-hmm. ha, I think that is important picking that phone macam when we had difficult time and we had my dear difficult time many times my finance people pening kepala you know 
I said, kita susah lah. Pening lah. Say, Give them my number. Give them my number. Mm. I pick up all calls. I I only have one wife and one phone. So don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up all calls. You can call me anytime. I pick up almost all calls. I hope people will watch up better lah. Mm-hmm. Dia kita tengok nombor, kita call balik kan. But mm-hmm. I pick up. So I don't run away from responsibilities. Lah. So guys, um, that was Datuk uh, Ami eh, Datuk Ami Maidin. Uh, I I'm so touched lah bila Datuk sebut pasal the wife uh, being next to you because uh, I resonate with that. Uh, my wife is actually the one who uh, struggled with me waktu kita orang kat tempat paling bawah sekali lah when we started this. Um, and for for you guys out there tengah bercakap pasal zaman sekarang ni kan banyak kes-kes pasal kahwin lah, poligami lah. Bukan nak kata benda tu salah. Tetapi as a successful businessman such as Dato' Amin Maidin eh, and maybe not yet successful tapi okay, me, kita orang bersependapat bahawa uh, isteri tu adalah seorang yang boleh memberikan support yang amat banyak sekali kepada kita dan bisnes kita. Uh, so you have to pick one lah. You nak business successful ke ataupun uh, something else. Uh, uh, of course, other exceptions tapi this is our story. So uh, last sekali uh, Dato' Amir, Uh, nak tanya lah, apakah CSR yang Maiden selalu buat? Hmm. You know, I think um, CSR is very important, hmm. very important in, in 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 any way lah, whether you are an influencer or you're doing business or you're working, do what you can. Hmm. It doesn't matter what, do something. For for your community, for the family, for the people at large, yeah? um, because helping people, uh, it will help you. Mm. It will help you because studies have shown that bila kita tolong orang, uh, of course kita as a, as a Muslim you say barakat, uh, Tuhan bagi balik sepuluh kali ganda, mm. this is common. Uh. But besides that, that that happiness that you feel makes you a better person. I think this is important. Bila kita buat something, whether kita bagi botol air, you know, kita kadang-kadang uh, duduk jalan, you know, bawa botol sejuk, we see the cleaner, they're cleaning. Mm-hmm. Oh, tak buka lagi botol sejuk, kita bagi kat dia. You know? Mm-hmm. It's a small gesture. Okay? To you, could be, alah, berapa sing je botol ni pun. Mm, to us lah. Ha, to us. But that lady, Or that man that's sweeping the floor, sweating there. Allah mak dapat air sejuk. Mm. And of course, the the hormone, the enzyme that are released in your body mm-hmm. uh, are very positive in Betul. nature. It makes you feel better. As you feel better, you become a better person, and you do more better things, do more good things. So I'm saying that you you give because it's you should give. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you can afford to give, you give. You can give more. You can give less. Uh, Orang kata, I have nothing to give. Come on. Give doa lah. Hmm. Your doa is equally valuable. Kita pergi jumpa mak kita, kita minta apa? Kita minta doa je. Betul. Doa ibu. Kan? So, so I think, uh, minta doa lah. Bagi doa. Atau kalau boleh bagi ringgit, bagi ringgit. Uh, bagi seratus, bagi seratus. Hmm. Tapi bagi dengan niat. Niat yang baik. Hmm. Uh, bukan niat yang orang kata, saya selalu cakap, alah, you nak bagi satu juta tu, ambil gambar dalam TV, buat apa? Hmm. Buat Billboard besar uh, Saya nak bagi Satu juta ni Mana gambar Mana cameraman <laughs> <laughs> You know <laughs> Come You know uh, XYZ VIP kena sebelah saya Bagi I think the value of 1 million Is gone already hmm. You better give 100 ringgit To some poor man Somewhere on the road I think I think God looks at it That hmm. your sincerity Of helping somebody hmm. So kita banyak buat uh, And <coughs> We don't necessarily document it, you know, mm-hmm. anywhere. Uh, document for tax deduction, for tax lah, okay. uh, if necessary. Of course, we have to do that. A lot of times cannot, de- cannot not deduct it. Eh? Kadang-kadang pun tak boleh, susah. Dia tak ada gambar, kita tak ambil gambar. You know, they say, why did you do this? Where is your photo? Did you do this for that purpose? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and they didn't look at it every day. Could it, was it for branding purpose? Uh, then you can deduct. Non-branding, you cannot deduct. Mm. You know, all this tax pun pergi kepala. Mm-hmm. But tak apalah. That is a tax deductor. But, but if you're giving for a good reason, you give. Actually, I, I learn from my mom. Yeah? Uh, bila ada orang uh, lap major lepas makan. Yeah? You know, dekat restaurants. Dekat R&R lah. Those pekerja-pekerja tu sebenarnya, they, they're not 
business owner they just employee of uh, that R&R so my mom akan bagi dia orang RM10 to us RM10 is nothing but to them it's a lot and then sometimes hmm. lepas saya dah bagi tu uh, macam dekat Tesco punya apa uh, Tesco dah tak lastkan Lotus eh? Lotus punya food court uh, nanti dia akan datang balik dia akan kata terima kasih abang terima kasih abang and the positive vibes tu memang ada tapi kita bagi I bagi memang bukannya untuk apa tapi memang uh, nak bersedekah dekat dia I know that they will appreciate it so much to me it's just another spring it uh, bukan nak kata banyak atau sikit tapi for me it matters to them of course hmm. of course and I think it it good for your heart betul it good for your heart you betul. know so you do it for for good things it's good for your heart it helps people uh I don't know why it's so difficult to give kadang-kadang mm-hmm. kan? uh, people who have more they tend to give more mm-hmm. uh, and you see whether it is um, big players or whatever Bill Gates ke apa lah mm. but they give billions of dollars yes, away the foundation semua yes uh, foundation whatever how it's being managed whatever the intentions are we don't go behind it lah mm-hmm. tapi I, I'm sure they have good intention to help Mm-hmm. Uh, akhir kata kita nak bawa pergi kat mana pula mm. you know let let your children earn their own keep lah betul uh, tolong sikit-sikit tak uh, apa tolong lah. sikit-sikit tak apa but lah don't make them a billionaire uh, you bagi dia foundation <laughs> bagi dia pilih sikit so at least they don't go through the whole hardship that you went right but don't build them a house lah right, right. bagi piling piling eh? uh, piling cukup such lah. as education of course right, I think right. education I mean, very important mm-hmm. uh, orang kadang-kadang kata tak payah lah kita dengar kadang-kadang kata yang sama sekarang yes. ha, yang dia oh saya I didn't go to school I didn't do anything uh, yeah but there, there can be one out of ten two out or of one out of a million yang berjaya ha, yeah, betul-betul yang berjaya yang tak pergi sekolah orang kata kan right. orang kata macam Bill Gates wasn't a great student contohnya I mean you know you hear but he could have been brilliant not necessarily a good student you know right, right. you don't have to be a good student to be brilliant because maybe you are too good a student that you couldn't sit down in that class mm. you know kadang boring sangat orang kata mm-hmm. ha, you see But I think uh, we, it's to, you you owe it uh, to give your children a good education, antar sekolah, a good school, let them graduate. You know, uh, it is just giving them the the foundation, right. the piling, and of course you give them a good piling, the house will last longer lah. Betul. You shaky shaky piling tu, nanti sekarang ni tsunami banyak ni, <laughs> uh, one landslide the house will go off. Yeah. So I think the The piling is very important. So, untuk, untuk anak kita ni, kita kata, give a good piling. Mm-hmm. Uh, a good religion background, kalau boleh, insyaAllah. Mm-hmm. Whatever religion you are, religion te- always teaches you good things. Yeah? Right. So, that humility, very important. Humility, very important. I find that very important because anak saya dua orang ni, kan? <coughs> bila dia jumpa orang pun, dia, dia, dia bagi nama dia, Uh, Iqbal dia kata uh, Ig- dia kata Iqbal Dato' Amir dia tak kata kalau kalau dia kata Iqbal Dato' Amir Maidin tu semua dah kenal siapa dia hmm. dia tak ada tak pernah pakai Dato' Amir pun hmm. dia Iqbal Amir atau kalau boleh dia, Amir pun dia tak nak takut orang kenal hmm. kata Iqbal uh, hmm. so I think that's important that, that, that what is important bukan dia malu bapa dia kan I hope hmm. not <laughs> tapi I think he wants to stand on his own feet right. and known for his accomplishment Uh, and he doesn't want. Banyak kali dia cerita, I want to do this. I say, uh, you want, I can call <laughs> A or B. Kalau nak minta tolong, kita dah dua sikit, kenal lah. Nak bagi A, what's your problem? I mean, call him. Uh, you don't interfere. <laughs> 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 you don't interfere. I'm just telling you my right. challenges. You don't interfere. Let, let me do it. You know? mm-hmm. I think they, they want to be known for their own things. Lah. I think which is important. Which is important. Huh? For their own self-worth juga. Lah, yeah, for their own self-worth. Because... You know, they, they 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 need to because end of the day when they they do it well, at least they know that they did it. It's not your your father, <laughs> you right. know, uh, doing something. But we always, as parents, I think all parents give moral support, right? Which is actually moral support is more important than the financial support. Mm. Although people think financial support is very important, I think the moral support that you listen to them, you advise them. But kita dah tuwos ki, we are in business for so long. You know, dia kata macam my, my son doing event or whatever. Bila dia event kecil-kecil dulu, dia tanya saya, eh, I, I nak canopy lah. Mana nak cari canopy? Kita kan buat event, hmm. my din. Oh, canopy, I'll beli dengan A. Uh, nak cari aircon tu, I pergi kat B. Sekarang dia buat event lagi besar pada saya. Hmm. Kata, sekarang my staff kata, nak cari canopy. Eh, hey, you ask my son lah. 
I think he knows better than uh, where to get the canopy or right. where to get the air cooler. But then dia buat event lagi besar pada kita buat. Mm. So I think uh, this is good thing lah. You 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 support that way. Mm. You support that way. Insyaallah they they grow on their own lah. Okay. Them. Thank you very much, Dato. Uh, can you give uh, satu dua patah uh, kata <coughs> untuk bagi semangat dekat business owners? Not necessarily in retail space lah, tapi any business owners yang <coughs> baru nak start and facing hardships sekarang ni, do they turn back or do they push forward? Never turn back lah. Never turn back. Never turn back. I think um, you 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 might fail fail now than fail later. <laughs> Pick up. You better fall now. Learn your lessons now. Uh, if you're small and you fail, uh, the pain will not be so bad. Mm-hmm. It's worse if you're big than you fail. Mm. Then become very difficult, very difficult. So hello, yeah, sebetulnya for business owners, perseverance, perseverance. Don't give up, lah. I mean, susah, tapi tak susah. So saya kata berapa susah ayah anda saya, mak saya, anak tujuh orang, ikan satu toko, tujuh orang anak makan, susah lah tu, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Tahu, tahu. Saya, uh, I tell you in public, uh, I mentioned it before. Bila saya pergi kahwin, uh, kasut berlubang. Mm. Susah lah tu. Mm-hmm. Malu tak malu nak kahwin. Tak malu lah kan. Mm. <laughs> Tapi kasut berlubang. So I, I'm saying that, you know, tough. Life is tough. But um, that makes you a a tough person. You see? So don't don't fear. Don't fear difficulties. Yeah. Uh. But don't go for a quick run. You know, scammer. This you see, you invest here, you get 30% return. You know, mana ada. I went for one big one, all of those seminar. Lepas tu ada orang duk duk duk, kata beli emas lah. Dia kata beli emas, invest in this lah. Tengok emas, return. Tak, tak, tak. Ha, kalau you beli uh, tiga bulan dulu, hari ni you dah dapat 20% return. So, dia kata, I kata, dah habis. Lepas tu, I was the next speaker. I went up, I said, terima kasih lah, minta maaf lah. You kata tiga bulan dulu, you make 20%. But I just check the rate. Kalau I beli empat bulan dulu, I will have lost money. Hmm. Why didn't you say four months ago? Hmm. So when you want to tell somebody, tell the whole story. Because uh, investment, yes, you can make money. Mm-hmm. Like crypto lah. Mm-hmm. You, you can buy Bitcoin. You buy the Bitcoin at the wrong time, you are dead, man. That's right, yeah. You have bought the right time. Just a few months ago, people say Bitcoin was so low. Mm-hmm. Buy, 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 buy. Pop, jatuh balik. Lepas tu naik balik, you know. But it's just the business you want to do. It's up to you lah, kan? Mm-hmm. Up to you, like. To me, 5%, 10%, pelan-pelan. Naik tangga, jangan beli lagi. Mm-hmm. You know, pelan-pelan. Because if you earn money slowly, the money will be there. You know, it's like beyond kata by losing weight, you know, kita nak kurangkan, nak kurang badan kan. Dia kata, kalau boleh tu, setengah kilo seminggu cukup lah. Hmm. Jangan 10 kilo seminggu. Mm-hmm. Because kalau hilang 10 kilo seminggu tu, lagi 3 bulan, you naik balik semua. Mm-hmm. Kalau setengah kilo seminggu tu, I think insyaAllah, you you will keep that loss of weight lah. Mm-hmm. So I think it's very important. Everything in, uh, don't, uh, don't chase for money. Mm-hmm. And don't chase for fame. Because, If it comes too early, you cannot handle it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so hold that. It will come at the right time. You just do the right thing. Work hard. Persevere. Makan duit halal. It's okay. Life has its challenges. Uh, be happy with what you are. Mm-hmm. And think positive. Mm-hmm. Think positive. If I if I come in here thinking, Allah. Boring lah. Dua jam kita duduk kat sini. You know? <laughs> That is going to be boring lah. Right. But if I come here and say, hey, let's talk, man. Come on, man. Let's make it interesting. Then it's interesting lah. It is how you think yourself. And that is what you're going to get. Mm. Kalau you kata you letih-letih lah. Ngantuk tu, you ngantuk lah. Mm. Kalau you malas tu, malas. Mm-hmm. So I think positivity uh, is very important in life. Awesome. Thank you, Dato Amir. Thank you. Uh, guys, thank you for watching us. Yeah, uh, That is the insight of Dr. Amir Ali Maidin, yeah? the MD of Maidin. Yang kita selalu pergi tu, he is the man behind that. And uh, thank you and very much. And my family. And the family, of course. And my staff. Uh, the family, the wife, the the, the the wife dulu, and then the extended family, uh, sorry, the wedding, and then the staff. Those are the apa, hierarchy of how important they are to a person's business. Betul? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much again. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Masih sama.